The Hummer H1 is a four-wheel drive utility vehicle based on the military vehicle known as the Humvee, which was made by AM General. By the mid-1960s, it was clear that the Jeeps designed in World War II needed an update. The Army's replacement was dubbed High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle abbreviated HMMWV. Design specs were finalized in 1979 for an unstoppable combat vehicle with excellent on- and off-road performance, the ability to carry heavy and bulky payloads. Though 61 companies started working on the project, only three submitted working prototypes, these were, American Motors S subsidiary AM General, Chrysler Defense, and Continental. Eleven experimental units were tested for over 600,000 miles in conditions ranging from deserts to Arctic climbs. The initial M998 series specs called for a 5,200-pound curb weight, a 2,500-pound payload, 16 inches of ground clearance, 5 feet of fording capability, both gas and diesel engines, and a 3-speed automatic transmission. On March 22, 1983, the Pentagon awards a production contract worth more than $1 billion to AM General Corporation to develop 55,000 high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicles, HMMWV. Nicknamed the Humvee and designed to transport troops and cargo, the wide, rugged vehicles entered the spotlight when they were used by the American military during the 1989 invasion of Panama and the Persian Gulf War in Operation Desert Storm in the early 1990s, where it navigated the treacherous desert terrain. This usage helped to inspire civilian Hummer versions. AM General had planned to sell a civilian version of its Humvee as far back as the late 1980s. Having the same structure and most mechanical components, the civilian Hummers were finished in automotive gloss paint, adding passenger car enhancements such as air conditioning, sound insulation, upgraded upholstery, stereo systems, wood trim, and convenience packages. The civilian model began in part because of the persistence of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who saw an army convoy while filming Kindergarten Cop in Oregon and began to campaign and lobby for a civilian version to be available on the market. In 1992, AM General began selling a civilian version of the M998 Humvee vehicle to the public under the brand name Hummer. The first two Hummer H1S to be sold were purchased by Schwarzenegger. The vehicle was produced from 1992 through 2006, and was the first of what became the Hummer line. In 1998, General Motors purchased the brand name from AM General and marketed three vehicles, the original Hummer H1, based on the military Humvee as well as the new H2 and H3 models that were based on smaller, civilian market GM platforms. Built in Mishawaka, Indiana, the public could get an H1 in several different forms, with a soft top, as a four-door hard top called the Sport Utility Truck, as the Alpha Wagon, a two-door pickup or a four-door slant back. Keeping safety in mind, AM General added three-point belts, also replacing the Humvee's canvas doors with steel ones featuring side impact beams. All H1S and HMMWVs were produced on the same assembly line, of which civilian H1S were then painted and finished in a separate building opposite the parking lot. Considering the Hummer H1 is one of the widest street-legal SUVs, it is heavy. Considering it was engineered to handle a cannon, missiles, troops, and body armor, the gross vehicle weight rating is 10,300 pounds. Five engine types and three automatic transmission types can be found in Hummer H1. The common engine-slash-automatic transmission combinations are 6.2-liter GM diesel V8 3-speed, 6.5-liter GM diesel V8 4-speed, 5.7-liter gasoline V8 4-speed, 6.5-liter turbo GM diesel 4-speed, 6.6-liter turbo Duramax LLY V8 turbo diesel-slash-Allison 1000 5-speed, model year 2006. The Hummer became a symbol of America's supersized lifestyle. However, the gas-guzzling vehicle was also a target of heavy criticism from environmentalists. Starting at $39,500 in 1994, the Hummer came with the same aluminum body and off-road hardware as the original high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicles, offering 250 pound-feet of torque with permanent four-wheel drive. 16 inches of ground clearance came courtesy of the portal axles while a higher intake improved fording. Inboard disc brakes and torque vectoring differentials made plowing through mud or sand look easy. Additionally, AM General's H1 options list included air conditioning, leather seats, 
Goodyear's run-flat tires kept in shape by extra alloy or rubber inserts and an onboard tire inflation system. The H1 models are inherently stable due to their wide track. They can ford 30 inches, 76 centimeters, of water and climb a 22 inch, 56 centimeters, step. Their stock ground clearance of 16 inches, 41 centimeters, is made possible by tucking driveline components inside a channel in the wide central space between the left and right seats. They have high approach and departure angles of 72 slash 37.5 degrees. Most H1s are equipped with a central tire inflation system, CTIS, which enables the driver to increase or decrease the tire air pressure at the push of a button, since lower tire pressures are more suited for off-road, and higher tire pressures are desirable on-road. The radiator is up high, sloping over the engine on a forward hinged hood. The air intake is high mount, enabling the H1 to ford waste level water. Rather than using simple run-flat tire, magnesium aluminum alloy or rubber inserts are an optional feature for run-flat ability. Options included leather seats, a winch kit, and running boards. 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha The Alpha was an extensively re-engineered H1 that was equipped with GM's Duramax diesel and 5-speed Allison transmission. The update program commenced in late 2002 with production launch slated to be fall of 2004. Other major modifications included the use of special high-strength steel in the chassis frame, a more powerful steering gear, quieter axle differentials, redesign of the geared hubs to use quieter helical gears, new induction, exhaust and electrical power systems, and re-engineering of the fuel supply and filtration system and also a new interior. Production launch was early in 2005, and continued until production ceased in mid-2006. All vehicles built during this time are classified as model year 2006. AM General announced that 2006 would be the last model year for the Hummer H1, with production winding down in June 2006 due to a new emission law for diesel engine vehicles, which took effect in 2007. The final model year of 2006 had the most powerful engine and improved fuel efficiency about 10 mpg or 24 liter per 100 kilometers. On January 30, 2020, General Motors announced the revival of the Hummer nameplate, which would be used as a new electric off-road vehicle subbrand within its GMC brand. The reborn Hummer, now known as the GMC Hummer electric vehicle, will have two variants, an SUV and a truck, SUT with top variants reaching 1,000 HP from three electric motors.